The wave of sexual harassment claims against powerful men hits the Wisconsin legislature. New at 10, some lawmakers calling on a state representative from Milwaukee to resign after two women said he forced himself upon them. In a report in the Capital Times, two women accused Josh Zepnik of drunkenly kissing them without their consent at political events. Sean Gallagher joins us now with the latest on this developing story. Sean? Yeah, George, two anonymous women quoted in the Capital Times article share a few things in common with their stories, alcohol, political functions, and unwanted advances from Josh Zepnik. Uh, the two women interviewed say the incidents happened in 2011 and 2015. In 2011, a legislative staffer and, says Zepnik was uh, drunk, grabbed her shoulders, and kissed her during an election party. Soon. Flash forward a few years at the Democratic 2015 convention in Milwaukee. Another mm -hmm. staffer says uh, Zepnik hugged her and tried to kiss her, but she turned her head. Zepnik responded to the report with this efficient. statement saying, quote, no legislative staffer ever confronted me with any such allegation, nor did their employer. No one from the Democratic Party staff has ever said anything to me, and since that time, I have had many interactions with political staff which have been professional, positive, and without any suggestion of this type of activity. Zepnik is listed as married on his legislature website. We tried knocking on his door at his last listed address, but didn't get an answer. And while these are still just accusations, it has raised concerns among his constituents. It's happened everywhere. It's not just here and what this person up the street or any other the politicians. And this is in Zepnik's first alleged trouble with alcohol in 2015. He was charged with drunk driving. Two of Zepnik's Democratic colleagues in the assembly have called on him to resign since these allegations were published. George. All right, thank you, Sean. Well, earlier this week, state legislative leaders refused to release any sexual harassment complaints against Senate and assembly members, citing concerns about victim privacy.